What's the worst date you've ever been on? I went on a date with the cheapest guy in New York. He takes me to dinner, he chooses the restaurant, and he wouldn't pay for anything extra. There's cheese extra on the burger, $2, $3 extra. He just wouldn't get it. Why does he need to pay for extra? Maybe he's not in love with cheese. Maybe he just doesn't want it at all. But why do you feel entitled to extra? You should be thankful that the guy wanted to spend time with you and spend money on you to begin with. But instead, you're just like, like a lot of these other entitled women out there that think men are just supposed to just, you know, break the bank and jump through all these hoops just to impress you and all of that. It's just it's totally ridiculous. How ungrateful can you be? And you guys wonder why men don't want to deal with you. You'll be like, no, that's extra. No, that's too expensive. I don't want it. I'm like, dude, it's the first date. Can you just not be so cheap? I Where do women get this idea of it's the first date that men have to splurge and impress them? What are you doing for a man? Nothing. You're doing nothing. You're offering nothing but so except your presence. That's nothing. That has no value whatsoever. And women like you are the first ones to say, oh, you know, a first date doesn't entitle you to anything. Well, that goes both ways, sis. A first date doesn't entitle you to a man's money. I ate and I just left him there. I decided I'm going to pay the bill. I'm going to make a statement and just and I just left. Oh. Wow. So you just left because you didn't want to pay for extra my god did you guys ever talk again we actually went on a second date and oh hold up oh do you see how flawed this is folks are you paying attention if she has such a bad experience and he was such a low life bad guy that didn't want to pay for extras why did she go on a second date why is it because in the moment she felt like she wanted to just like in the moment she felt like she wanted to complain about him in this video or it, was it the moment that she felt that she needed to when she was so angry and just got up and left him at on the first date all about the emotions and the feelings that's very very childish you're not entitled to anybody's money or anything you get mad about that and then you go on a second date with the guy come on it was it was a disaster it was probably a disaster for him because you were probably worse on the second date. And to that guy, if you ever watch this video, when they act like that the first time, don't go on a second date. Because they're going to be worse because now you have given them permission to act that way. And it usually progresses. So to any guys doing this, they act, they act weird. They act crazy. They start acting greedy and entitled and all that on the first date. Don't go on a second date because if you truly act a fool on the first date, when you meet a woman, if you scare her or something like that, you make her feel unsafe. She's not going to go on a second date with you. So why would you go on a second date with somebody that's constantly disrespecting you and putting you down? Cause you won't pay extra for a damn pickle or a, a larger order of French fries or the, the extra large drink. But then she still wants to go on a date with you. That's drama. That's a roller coaster. No. No, no, no.